Hello, welcome to T-Sport Bernal. This video we are testing at Nagaro in the south of France and it's we're just coming to the end of day one. The weather's been hit and miss so we've had like probably two hours of dry and two hours of wet all day. Uh, we've had one sort of small issue this morning which we have resolved uh, just on the front axle just because it's a new part that we, we found a problem there. Uh, but apart from that we're just testing uh, a few different things with this new fuel which is why you can see the exhaust is sticking upwards rather than standardly pointed down uh, and then we're today we're just sort of uh, put some newer tyres on we'll then hopefully once the track goes green again we should get three or four laps in just to see where the pace is uh, today Tonight we will then do a lot of changes, so sort of larger changes which we can only do in the night service. So, uh, and tomorrow the weather's given a lot better, so then we can see uh, how fast we are tomorrow. Sunday, as you can see, the weather's a lot nicer, a lot better. Uh, it's around dinner time now. This morning we've done a few hot laps and we've just started to go on to the long distance training now, so to see how the tyres last and the fuel last with this new HVO fuel, looking really promising. We're uh, really surprised at uh, how much faster we are now than last year, uh, with uh, huge changes on the, the setup and uh, also on the steering system. We still have some setup uh, pieces we need to test from which PE uh, produced for us uh, last week um, and we're hoping this afternoon we can uh, finally test them. Also we'll do a full race distance test. So the biggest advantage when we go testing or even a race weekend with the and we use the PE discs on the front is that they have uh, such a good reliability and a uh, good quality that we can run a, a pair of discs on the front for a full test weekend so we've just come in from um, a full race distance and there's still 100 maybe 80 degrees warm um, and there's still 
or they sh they'll easily survive the rest of the, the test day which we've got planned today uh, and this sort of takes um, it doesn't mean that we don't need to concentrate on them we need to make sure that the, the, they will last but it, it takes work away from us so we can concentrate more on the actual technical side rather than the sort of general maintenance so the, the minute we just uh, got a problem with the front axle which we've got to fix up very quickly uh, and then get out for maybe two more runs today so uh, it's just uh, where we mounted the damper on the axle it's just uh, snapped the uh, bracket so we just need to fix it get back out and crack on seems to be a little bit quicker than, than last year and of course I hope to do as many races as we can this year in the European uh, Championship so let's hope that uh, this Covid situation goes away and we can do as many races as we can and we can bring a lot of uh, spectators to the races so I hope you, you see me this year and I hope that everything goes well. It's Monday, weekend is over, last jobs to do is to load the toolboxes, load the forklift and load the race truck, but the last job with the race truck is to empty all the water, because we carry like 200 litres of water to cool the brakes and the intercooler, and there's no point transporting water halfway around Europe, because Mother Nature does that for free anyway, uh, and then once this is loaded we'll have a quick shower, and then we'll hit the road. A big thank you to Carolyn and the Circuit Nagaro for a really good test weekend. We're all loaded up, ready to go. We're uh, off to get the calm boat for tomorrow night, so we'll hit the road now and uh, hopefully get back home safely.